Greetings! Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's, it's too, too many, many spirits! spirits. This is a show where we drink our drinks and review your ghost stories. I just realized I was looking at the wrong camera. You stupid piece of sh**. And we're shooting four episodes of these bad boys. We're shooting all four of them in one night. This is the third episode, so we're quite far in our journey, as you can probably tell. <laughs> By the time we get to the fourth one, who knows what's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna be rolling on the lawn. <laughs> we'll be rolling around in the mud, in the mud like pigs. <laughs> like pigs. As always, we'll be enjoying some tasty beverages from our cocktail maestro, Stephen Lim. Stephen, what you got for us this week? Third drink is uh, maybe my favorite one. It's called the Slim Reaper. Oh, that's good. Thank you, thank you. You need two or three scoops of matcha. Depends how much caffeine you want. I'm guessing you don't want that much caffeine at this hour. So I'm gonna have just two scoops. I'm actually excited for this one. 50 milliliters, maybe 25 milliliters of hot water in here. Can you see in here at all? No. Do you wanna come over and see? I mean, you don't have, you don't have to. Just stay, just stay. Bring it over here. Yeah. That's not in focus, hang on. Okay, great. Ooh. Okay, sorry. there we go. And we're gonna whisk it for about 30 seconds to a minute. You wanna uh, mix that up with a nice circular back and forth. You know, I get a, a maximum whisk. You Where's know this confidence you found on this third drink? Well, well, no, this is a beverage I make every morning for myself. Oh, so I I'm, see. I'm okay. familiar, not, not the cocktail version, but the matcha latte. <laughs> I'm sweating. Is that part of it? Nope. And we're gonna drop in the matcha into this nice mason jar. I know mean, I usually put around 100, 50 milliliters of milk. And now we add the bun juice. One and a half ounces of sake. And just for fun, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, agave. I like this one. You know what, Ryan? I hope you do. <laughs> add some ice. Yeah. If you wanna get real fancy, you could froth it up at the end. There we are. The Slim Reaper. Well done. Nothing says uh, third hour of the night like some milk. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to drink this very light drink that Stephen Lim, cocktail maestro, has prepared for us. This is gonna curdle when it hits my tongue. Now Ryan's gonna be applying the standard uh, spirit vision. The spirit vision camera allows you, the viewer, to take on. <laughs> Ryan just, <laughs> Ryan just poured it in the glass. Every time he sips, or at least until we get tired of it, you're gonna be right there, front row, center, baby. <laughs> right, Sports geez. until we oh, get fucking tired drop of my it. Car. Holy smokes, that is delicious. I just taste the matcha. Steven, you've outdone yourself. This is, dare I say, dangerous? I'm a little worried about this drink. This is almost like the Steven Lim version of a Red Bull vodka. It's got caffeine. Oh, I'm sure you experienced a lot of those back in the Big oh, Apple. Oh, in the Big Apple. Oh, 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 you over here in LA? Here, here, I heard you sleep. Here's Steven Lim at 3 a.m. Okay, in New York. let's see it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. What's he saying? What's he saying? Woo! I'm Big Apple Stevie. I own this town. I've lived here for two and a half months. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get into some stories now. Ryan, since it's your. Uh, can you read? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, dude. This comes from. Uh, anyway, let's get to the next story. This comes from the Adam. first story. <laughs> The first story. Uh, this comes from user first story at boob69420. <laughs> Is that their name? Did you make that up? It's very funny. I respect it. <laughs> and now I'm very excited for this story. We got Banshee knocked. Three knocks on the front door, warning of a death in the family. No one died until two years later. <laughs> when when my father passed on the same date. Sad. Uh, that's it? I'm a little lost. I'm not gonna lie, that's the, this. They throw you right into it. Three knocks, what would you say about three knocks, Ryan? That's demonic. Mocking. <laughs> oh, I see, on the same, same day. day. Same day. Okay, so that's they called the... their shot two years early. Yeah. Banshee. Knock. <laughs> You got it. I mean, I'm not really seeing much except pictures of leprechauns, so. I, I, like Lucky from the yeah, Lucky Charms? Yeah, kinda, except like more evil. Banshees are a popular thing in what, Ireland? Maybe it was a banshee knock? I hope this story's not true, is all I'm gonna say. Me too. So if the if the idea is that someone knocks at your door, no one's there. Yeah. Is that a banshee? 
I mean, I guess. I I, I don't know what a banshee looks like. <laughs> uh, three out of ten spirits. <laughs> I'll give it a four out of ten spirits. And we're warming up, you know? We're yeah. warming up. Yeah. This drink is actually making me miss my mustache. <laughs> because, well, because when you got a mustache, and all my mustache pals out there will know, out there on the mustache message boards. Ron, you've had a casual mustache. I've had right? a casual mustache. Before. You know how when you drink something with a mustache, you get like a little well, You get the residue. There, yeah, you get and then you get to go <laughs> and suck out all the, the remnants. That's, that's a good thing. I actually had a mustache when I was in New Orleans. I had a milk punch. And oh, it really dusted Lord that bad Almighty. boy. And yes. all I could think was like, seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'll save that for later. Yes, please. <laughs> now this one's from uh, Steven. This one's from Bell Lim. Oh. This also happened to another friend, but seven of her seniors went to karaoke once. When they paid at the counter, the staff insisted that there were eight people in the karaoke room. <laughs> <laughs> with them and showed them the CCTV footage where there was an extra person. Whoa. Oh shit, dude. A fucking plus one. <laughs> That's Wait, the story. so you mean there is a karaoke room and they saw an extra person and they were like, Spirit. I'm it's gotta be a ghost. It's gotta, it's gotta <laughs> be a ghost. That's a go. But it happened to her friend too. It happened twice. People crash karaoke rooms all the time, right? Mm -hmm. I've crashed a couple weddings in my day. Oh, I've always wanted to do that. It's fun. We do. We can. We can find one. I feel like that might be a little hard. Now, currently in this climate, yes. Also, you're ten thousand feet tall. <laughs> not ten thousand feet. It's not tall. like someone's gonna be like, "Oh, look at those two guys mingling in the crowd." It's gonna be like, "Hey, who's that fucking squatch?" We'll find a, t a tall wedding. <laughs> And then they're going to be like, hey, who's that little boy over there? We just can't win. <laughs> we can't win. It's too much. So if you, if you, if this happened to you, you wouldn't be creeped out even a little bit? I would assume an, an, a person just jo just jumped yeah, in the room. But isn't that a little creepy if it's, still? If it's a seven person you care. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, send that footage to the White House. We got ourselves a ghoul on camera. That's not what camera. she's saying. She's just saying, that's a little creepy. That's a ghost. That ghost wants to sing Tiny Dancer, and I fucking know it. The other thing, oh, karaoke, seven plus people, everyone is blasted. Absolutely. They're not paying attention. No. Also, more the merrier. More the merrier. Do we rate this one? Yeah, we rate this one. No, did we? We do. No, did no, did we rate? Did yeah, we rate big it time. Or? We do. Did we rate it? Uh, do we rate it? No, did we rate it? <laughs> do we? Yeah, <laughs> big time. I'll give it a five. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> eight? Why an eight? Because I feel like it. Okay. And here's the thing: I love fucking karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Karaoke's good. Let's go to. Can you read anymore? Hey, man. You mind your own business. Okay. At Cut Your Losses, I feel like it's speaking to me. I saw a UFO once. <laughs> and also. <laughs> and also, I think my cat haunts my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Because every time I go in there since she died, my lights start flickering. Cats. <laughs> I don't understand the point of bringing up the UFO if it has nothing to do with the, your, your two-sentence story. Laying out his credentials, maybe? I guess so. Like, hello, ghoul boys. I've seen a UFO once. Also, my cat, a ghost, took a shit in my bathroom. I have a cat. I can speak to this. I ain't never seen him turn no lights on or off. <laughs> I really thought after he led with the UFO, we were going to go into the UFO, an immediate U-turn into yeah. like... Yo, I saw a UFO. <laughs> Don't believe me? Eat shit. We gotta, we gotta put some fire. Well, first we have to rate it. Sit down. Sit down. What do you rate it? Five out of ten spirits. <laughs> this is, this is unprecedented. I'm gonna give it 19 out of 10. Oh, dude! I was, you know what? I'm gonna we got change. two for the I'm price gonna, of one. I'm gonna change mine. I'm gonna change it. 20 out of 10 spirits. Whoa! Two. Now, Ryan, I dare say. <laughs> That's too many spirits. It took us three episodes, but wait, we got second, here. It's too many spirits. Wait, 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 wait. What's happening on the set? It's, it's, too, many it's, too, many it's, too, it's too many spirits. It's too many spirits. It's too many spirits. We need more fire. We need, we need more fire. We got to put a log on there. That's a good story. Jesus <laughs> 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 Ow. Ah, yes.
Give me another long, old boys. Yeah, that's some sweet, sweet fire. Is that fire talking? Oh, well, now that I have your attention, I, the fire, would like to tell you good folks about our sponsor this app, Surfshark VPN. As you all know, we spend our lives online, whether it's checking emails, streaming, or sliding into the DMs of other hot fire pit honeys. We'd like to think our information is safe, but as our online footprint increases, so does our need for proper security. Surfshark is a VPN service that protects your information by encrypting all the data that you send through the internet. Right now, Surfshark has a really good deal. By using my link in description and promo code, you will get 83% off, plus you'll get three months for free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Damn, bro chachos, that sounds like a fire promo if you ask me. Um, does anybody else see this? Anyways, back to the show. Also, can I get one more long? No? Come on, just one more long, ghoul boys, please. You might have noticed I put my vest on for this episode. It's a very special episode. Please? I think you were just cold. I was cold. <laughs> Don't ignore me. Here we go. Next story. <laughs> This is from Hanarak 3. It was Christmas Eve. Oh. I like a good Christmas tale. Yes. What is this, Gremlins? And I was eight years old. I fell asleep only to wake up at 3 a.m. after having had an odd dream with a rattling doorknob. The fire's really selling this, huh? Is that it? No. <laughs> I love it when people do this where they talk in the present tense. I look at my wall. <laughs> which has a picture frame around it painted on chalkboard, which had opened up with an old, <laughs> with an old man. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Which had opened up with an old man with little tiny scratches on his face standing in it. I eventually closed my eyes and then he was gone. I told my dad about this the next day and he told, <laughs> and he told me it was Krampus. <laughs> who battles Santa. <laughs> Every year. <laughs> I'm imagining the father who is a uh, extremely funny. This fire's really going. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. That one might be a hundred out of ten spirits. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, they, they closed her eyes and there was a. <laughs> I'll say it again, an old man with little tiny scratches on his face. <laughs> it doesn't sound like Krampus. It doesn't know. sound like Krampus even a little bit. His dad, from, from what I know about Krampus, he looks like a demon. Yeah, so. his dad's really phoning it in. He probably didn't want to deal with it. Dad was probably just hung over from the night before at Christmas Eve party, <laughs> just like. Did a little too much nog. Uh, you know what I'm it's Krampus. He battles Santa every he, year. He battles Santa, everyone knows that. <laughs> everyone knows that. Go yeah. open your presents. <laughs> What do you got for that one? I'll give it a solid 10 out of 10. Cool, cool. Let's move to the next one. <laughs> okay. Wait, you gotta say the line. What's the line? Oh, that's... Oh, no, that one's too many spirits. We that have a new too, too many, many spirits. spirits. That's too many spirits. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Me and my mom. <laughs> this is from Floofy Llamas. Good story. <laughs> Me and my mom. Me and my mom, we're driving around a graveyard while listening to Hairspray. Nice. Suddenly the volume went all the way down to zero when no one touched it. Someone there clearly didn't like Hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> what do you rank that one? Let's go zero out of ten. <laughs> zero like the volume. We've never given zero spirits, but... This is the one. This might have to be zero. <laughs> Floofy llamas, we appreciate you. I mean, you could have. <laughs> <laughs> try to workshop. You could have hammed it up a little bit. <laughs> what do you think about hairspray? I, I mean, it's a good musical, I guess. It's pure sake. I don't know what it's stronger expecting. without the matcha. It's it's stronger with just when it's just sake, huh? <laughs> All right, Ryan. This yep. comes from user. So, well, what's up? Uh, can you put the note? I know you. it's hard to see the note part, but I'll just lower it a little bit so I can see your face. Careful, yeah. Steven. You don't give direction to Ryan Bergara. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's going to spiral now. Unbelievable. 
No, it's okay. You, you, you can pull it together, Ryan. Yeah, just center yourself. Okay. You can pull it together. Oh, this is the this is the cat one again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this comes from user melatonin. Me and my little sister went on a playground when it was already getting dark. It started getting a bit foggy, but I didn't think much of it. I put her on a swing that's attached to other swings so they could swing kind of in unison. You almost sound like Ernest. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> well, you nailed it. My sister kept glancing and smiling at the swing next to her. And after she was done swinging, she asked me who that girl next to us was. I was confused. And she just pointed at the empty swing saying, the girl swinging next to me, who is she? Can we take her home? I just told her she had to go back to her family and we just kind of ran out of there. We never spoke about it again afterwards, but it still kind of freaks me out. I still don't really believe in ghosts though. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a freaky sister, man. Your sister sounds like a freaky lady. So the sister is like Sister's got too. the Sister has the vision. She's talking to or thinking or looking at a ghost. She's like you. I don't have the vision. You do have the vision. You're being modest. I don't have the vision. You've never seen a ghoul? But you think I have the vision? I mean, you saw that tube of toothpaste fall off a counter. Why is she asking to take the ghost home? Sweet of her. You can't take people home with you. Yeah, I you. know, but that's, that's what I'm getting They're at. They're not it's straight not like, dogs. It's not like a dog. Yeah, like, the sister's messed up. Can I have that one? Yeah, I want that big-headed boy right there. Is that me? Yeah. I go home with someone. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of 10 spirits. Two out of 10? Not a fan. Not I find children very creepy. I give it a four out of ten. We can do one more. That's we can do one, one more. more. We can do one more. We, can we do got one more. one more. This is from Awkward Introverts. One. Got that number one spot, baby. That's that's, that's big. That's congrats. Big you get our first grats of the season. <laughs> when I was eleven. <laughs> the chair squeak. When I was eleven, we had a man living in our loft for over a year. Love the start. Okay. Without us knowing. I mean, it would be weird if you knew and you were just like, all right, I guess. Good to see you, Lofty. <laughs> we always assumed the noises we would hear were birds. <laughs> Eventually, the police went up and found him with a bed, a laptop. Wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> this guy that they didn't know was living in their loft somehow snuck a, a mattress? A mattress up in? <laughs> He's walking that shit up the stairs like that episode of Friends. Are you fucking kidding me? Pivot? Right. <laughs> Pivot? The police found him with a bed, a laptop, and a microwave up there with him, LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> they found him with a bed, a laptop, a microwave, and a lava lamp. Uh, <laughs> I love the LMAO. <laughs> You can imagine walking around your house and being like, you smell <laughs> Hot Pockets? <laughs> Do you hear those birds in the attic again going, beep, beep, <laughs> beep. He apparently would creep around our house during the night for food and was growing, <laughs> and was growing weed in his house next door. <laughs> This guy sounds yeah, like dude. my fucking hero, dude. This guy's, this guy's downing pizza life. bagels on the reg <laughs> while fucking growing some his sick, whole, dank weed. <laughs> his whole house is full of that dank, dank. Well, and he's then he's chowing like, down. He's like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to live in my house. I'm going to live in the, <laughs> in the loft of the people next what, door. What, you, you want me to live where I'm growing, bro? Too bad. It's I full can't of that, that plant. As I said, not a ghost story. <laughs> but it's hard to trust new houses these days. I'm gonna give it 1,000 spirits out of out of 10. You know what I'm gonna give it? 420 spirits. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Hey, you know what? It's episode three. That's too many spirits. Now that's too many spirits. That's too many. Just maybe right amount. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, or maybe just the right amount. You might be right. That might be just the oh, right my. amount of spirits. I'm giving this zero spirits. <laughs> there were no dude. spirits in the story. Hey, too bad, dork. It's How can you give four twenty spirits, spirits <laughs> when there's spirits. no spirits? Yeah, dude, it's good. Look, it's good. It's, a, it's, it's from the earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching Too Many Spirits. We'll see you next time for episode four. And by then, we'll have degraded even further. I'm yeah, going to go gonna, pee. It's going to be wild. Uh, we'll see you next week, everybody.
Goodbye. Drink, drink responsibly. Wait, zoom into the fucking fire. Zoom into the fire. <laughs> now just, now just, and track up what to you, Ryan's face. <laughs> yes. Oh, right Whoa, past he it. He fucking nailed it. I saw it. <sighs> That's good.